We're determining whether this series converges or diverges, and you'll notice that there's this curious cosine of n pi in this series. If we think about cosine of n pi, if you plug in n equals 1, you'll get cosine of regular pi, which is negative 1. If you plug in n equals 2, you get the cosine of 2 pi, which is 1. If you plug in n equals 3, you get the cosine of 3 pi, which is negative 1. And you can keep going with that if you want to. What you realize is this gives us an alternating term. In fact, cosine of n pi can just be rewritten as negative 1 to the n power. So if we do that, what we have is an alternating series. So since we have an alternating series now, the only question that we have to answer is, does that term inside of the series go to zero as n goes to infinity? And the answer is pretty quickly yes. As n goes to infinity, our denominator will go to infinity, and that gives us a limit of zero. Because our series is alternating, and because the limit of the term inside of the series goes to zero, that's all we need to know. Our series converges by the alternating series test. Now that is great, but we may want to know whether or not this series converges absolutely. To answer that question, we have to look at the series without the alternating part on it. Well, as it turns out, this is a p-series. p equals 3 fifths in this case. That 3 fifths is less than 1. So this particular series diverges. So, the first part of this problem told us that our series converges by the alternating series test. However, the second part of the problem says that the series does not converge absolutely. What that gives us is that our series converges conditionally. A series converging conditionally is literally a phrase that means a series converges, but it doesn't converge absolutely. So we've answered the question, and we've answered even a bonus question here, and I think we got it done pretty quickly. I hope that helped, and if it did, please check out some of the other videos on this playlist. I hope to see you there.